Alrighty guys, welcome to Nightshade's newbie guide. We will be doing shallow swamps. Okay, so we're running just with our green gear. All the gear that you can get from the general store, Seraphina's general store for 500 gold each. We've got our ring, we've got the guard's bow, guard's katana. Um, you will be needing your crude fishing net and your ruin hide gloves for shallow swamps. We'll be fishing and gathering. And you'll notice I've just bought some cooked cooked hopper with me. Each one of these give you 300 health. So hopefully this will be enough to survive on a level 3 map. Alright, let's check it out. Okay, so diving into swamps. Be sure to check out some of my other videos if you haven't already. Um, let's dive into this. So you can see here we've got an entry rarity restriction of um, all the way up to rare. So we're going to be stuck on uncommon for a little while until we are lucky enough to get a rare drop. Um, but there's some pretty cool loot we can get here and some wild looking creatures. So let's just dive in and give it our best shot. Alright, let's go. Okay, to the swamps. I'm going to try to take this one nice and cautiously. Okay, watch out for spiders. They like to spit a little web at you and hold you in place. Okay, here's a new mob, we've got a Cyclub. It doesn't seem to be too much of a hassle though. Alright, let's have a look. And some vamp bats. Oh, and we got an air raid. Okay, so there, this first area is a lock-in room. So these, you want to watch out for those dudes. Okay, also, camera rotation. 100% necessary. Be sure to set that in settings. Okay, let's go. So we got our first gathering node. We got some spindle there. Also good for alchemy to make swiftness potions. Or you can just eat it for some extra speed. Okay. Let's see what the swamps. Oh, another lock in. This is gonna get wild. All right, we got a summoner. You want to try take these guys down as quick as you can. Okay. Woo! This is getting wild. Alright, let's create some space here. Deal with those fairies. Obviously, you're gonna have a tree in the way. That's just kind of how it goes in the swamps. Alright. Okay. Pretty wild when you get stuck in a lock-in room. Just gotta get prepared for some action. Be sure to keep moving. You don't wanna get stuck in a corner. That's how you get swarmed. Okay, it looks like every single area is a lock-in in the swamps. Kinda scary when you just got your greens. Okay, so you wanna be really comfortable with your shift and your power attacks and your back steps. And if you bring some food with you, you have that extra layer of confidence. Alright, let's do some fishing. We've got a fishing spot here. Hey, some more hopper. Cool. We can cook that when we're back in town. Okay, next area. Lock in. Should have known. Okay, so you want to move. Move, move, move. Okay, luckily these mobs, they're not too bad. The ones you want to watch out for in the swamps are the narrates. They the I think that's how you say it, narrate. Here one of them come. Oof, okay they do. They can really dish out the damage there. So I got poisoned and I got hit by the little magical beam. Which sucks. It takes like 98 damage. Okay, so you wanna watch out for those. Unlike me. I just eat their damage. Block it with my face. Okay, yeah, but that's gonna happen. You're not always gonna be playing super focused. All right, here we go, here we go. If you can get them on their own, you can definitely take them down with one right click attack, which is pretty cool. Okay, also these wisps, you wanna stay away from them. So you'll notice I've actually been playing a lot with my sword. This is probably a much easier map if you just play with your bow and save your sword 
for unavoidable close encounters. Alright, let's see here. Okay, Lizard Guard, they take two left clicks with your two-hand sword. Okay, Hood Goblins, nothing new. Slitters, okay, I got hit with slow. Okay, so that's the one thing, these Vamp Bats have the ability to slow you. So you want to try, actually, not do what I'm doing. Play the range game. Oof, okay, got hit by some poison there. Twice. Snake lands a crit. Let's get up close and personal. Alright, we're still doing alright though. And we've made it to the first chest. Also, if you have a pet, they'll be cute enough to run off to the statues and pots and go find you some gold. That's really cool. Alright, so let's backtrack. So when you're starting out, you know, um, you're not going to have... I'm, I'm level 79 at the moment, so you're not going to have all these extra champion rewards. Also, if you're not a member, you're going to miss out on a few of them. But if you have managed to get to level 20, you've already got some extra energy regeneration. So you should be able to regenerate at least up to, I think, 250 energy. Well, I think that's where it starts, to 250, and then you can go up to 375. So those champion rewards do help. Okay, we got another wisp. Woof. Okay, my back steps are not saving me. These, with a two hand, these mobs really do attack quite quickly. So that's kind of what makes them so mean in the swamps. Okay. When you're in these lock-in rooms, you're just gonna have to really be prepared to take some damage. Just as long as you're dishing damage out, you can trade those blows. Try to conserve your energy a little bit. Okay, let's try and get this fairy. Okay, here she comes. Oh, okay, I swung way too early. Here we go. Oh, now she's in the swarm. All right, that <coughs> that didn't go well. <laughs> All right, excuse me. Let's head this way. Lizard guard, chilled. All right, let's grab this scavenging spot. Okay, Alkin Grass, nice. You can use that for some alchemy, to make some discreet healing potions, or you can pawn it on the market for some gold. If you're a new player, you're probably going to want to do that. Alright, let's see here. It's a little very chilled. Oh, very chilled. Let's see. Hmm. Alright, we got a fork in the road and another lock in, so action mode, go. Fairies, try and deal with those. I just call them fairies because nerid or nerid can sound. It's a hard word to say out loud. It's almost easier just to type it than to say it, you know? <clears throat> Actually, worse to type because you never know if the E or the I comes first. So we'll just call them fairies. Okay. Definitely conceding lots of damage here. That was not a good luck in. Okay, let's try. Ooh, we got another summoner. Watch out for these dudes. Try to take them down as quick as you can because they also summon a group of three grunts. Alright. So not really moving very slowly here. We're just getting straight into the action. A little Hood Goblin army. A little trio. Take them down. Okay, these vamp bats. Ooh, okay, I heard a fairy. Here comes a fairy. Let's try to deal with her first. Okay. Sometimes these trees are definitely gonna get in your way, and you're just gonna have to believe. Okay, we survived. Chilled. Still haven't used any food. We'll only use it if we absolutely have to. Which might happen. We'll see. You never know when you're just gonna get swarmed. But here we go. Another lock in room. Try dodge as much as you can. Let's try go for these. 
snakes first. Okay. So you can let these dudes give chase. Just make sure you're dodging the spiders, dodging the snakes. <coughs> you don't want to get stuck in place. Or slowed or something like that. Okay, some spinel. Nice. I know some of you in the chat right now are after some spinel. You know who you are. Alright, so I'm definitely taking some damage here. These wisps are... Oh, and we got a fairy. Alright, so we're gonna have to eat some food here. So let's just click on... Whoa! Let's just click on one of those. Get some food in the belly. Before we die. Whoop! Okay, this is a mean lock-in room, so we're gonna eat some more food. Try get some more damage output here. Whoa! All right, let's try doing these. Okay, so with greens, you can see that we actually are taking much more damage than we did <coughs> in the the two sword maps. So it's definitely a step up going from two swords, two swords up to three swords. So. Definitely not going to be so fun without food. Obviously, if you play it more carefully, you can uh, probably do quite well without food, but we're going to stock up a little bit. I think we've already had two. This will be our third fish. Let's get back up to at least 1,000 HP. Okay, fourth. Okay, so we've used four fish so far. And we're still in the middle of the map. Okay, there we go. He summoned his grunts. Can probably sidestep him, but I just can't be bothered right now. Okay, these. Whoop! As you can tell, I'm probably. You can see I'm used to running around with my healing relics and just not playing very carefully. So I'm also getting a nice, nice bit of practice. Okay, we got another lock in. Let's focus. Step. Ooh, don't know what happened with that arrow there. Sometimes if you do a quick change... Whoa, okay. Swamps. Gonna need some more fish here. Okay, so as you can see, it can get pretty wild in the swamps here. Oof. Oh no, okay, let's deal this dreadling, I can't bear to face more of his army. Okay, so I'm probably being punished because I'm running around with my sword more than with my bow. Okay, so you can see, the maps definitely do give you some trouble. <clears throat> if you allow them, you can drop your guard and it's over. So, definitely gonna have to use these fish. Oof. Okay. Those fairies also have a long range attack, so you gotta watch out for them. Alright, we're probably gonna have to try to play a bit more carefully now. Okay, let's play the distance game here with these dudes. Okay, so with those wisps, if you are playing the long distance runaway game, which I'm kind of forced to have to do now. You're gonna want to create some distance between them and deal with them accordingly. Alright, we're running out of fish here. Hmm. Seems swamps is not so not so easy, guys. Alright. Let's see. Definitely should have taken it a bit more chilled in the beginning. Now I'm kind of on the back foot with supplies here. So let's see what happens. I may very well die. And have to do it all over again. That's the fun thing about doing it live. <laughs> Alright. We're just gonna have to deal with these spawns. 
Worst thing about the spawned mobs, they don't give you any experience or anything. Which sucks. Okay, let's try and pull his attack. Alright, these summoners are like a mini boss when you're with greens. Alright, so I think it's safe to say that this will probably take us towards the end. Alright, so again, looking at the fork in the road, if you happen to come across a chest in the middle of your path while on the way in a certain direction, it usually means that there's a chest in the other direction. Because that's not a, a chest on a dead end, it's in the middle of the path. So that can be a telltale sign that you should probably backtrack. Okay, and while we're here, let's just eat this last fish. And we're down to our very last bit of HP, so we gotta be really careful now. Just play the space, maybe take it a little bit slower. Really watching the minimap to see where the mobs are coming from. Hopefully not get so many lock-in rooms. <coughs> okay, making good headway here. We'll leave that fishing spot for now. Hey, these wisps are pretty deadly. Okay, locked in. Nowhere to run. Alright. Let's try to get rid of the snake first. Just cause we don't really have much room for it to be poisoned. Okay, so we got a, a good little mo mass mass mob here. You kind of just want to do the same thing, where you, you attack them, run away, try bait the entire mob's attack. And they'll all attack at once, so as long as you're out the way, you're not going to take any damage. So that's where the back step can save your bacon. Alright, we're still alive. Phew. But we don't have any heals left, so we'll see if we make it through this. Definitely was being a bit cocky in the beginning. So now we're just gonna have to tread really, really lightly. And hope we don't get a lock in room in one of these highly tree covered zones. We'll end in blindness. Alright, this is probably gonna be a lock in room. Let's see what we have there. Here we go, Cyclop. Let's dodge that spider snake. Oof, okay, just diving right into the action here. Okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And we're at the end. But we still got one more lock in room to deal with. So let's see if we can draw some of them out, fight them on our terms. The good old kite technique. Let's see if we can get some more attention before getting past the threshold here. No, nope, looks like we're in trouble. Let's take them out. Very. Oof, she got a crit on me. That was brutal. 122 damage. Not very nice. Okay, we can also bait their attacks. And you want to try get your attack in as soon as they're done attacking. Okay. And that's it! We managed to do it. Maybe if I didn't play so with so much like let's call it ego or you know, I definitely haven't done this before, so it's also a good test, a very honest test. If I played more carefully in the beginning we probably wouldn't have had to have used so much fish. So I actually used eight fish for that one. Um, but it was definitely doable. Um, just using 300 heals, you could probably you know, upgrade your food and use um, different food to heal yourself. Uh, just looking at cooking here, you can see the different, different things you can use to heal yourself. We just used the hopper 
but if you had you know slightly more expensive food you wouldn't have had to have used as much but hopper is good for its price all right but we made it all right so that brings us to the end of shallow swamps made some gold got some experience uh, don't worry too much about the time because we are doing a tutorial but it is doable swamps is doable with greens all right we're going to be moving on to the next map i'll see you guys at the next one cheers